All right, I'm here with Ellie Secback. Reporting. <laughs> YouTube legend. Uh, what did you make of Tank's performance? Uh, it was a, a Hector pretty much, he came to fight. He, he definitely showed Well, we knew that, and I was telling people it's a 50 50 fight that Hector is very tough. He's experienced 400 amateur fights, former Olympian, a champion. And he was very cool, calm, and collective, but Tank is Tank. So Tank took time, he told me to figure him out, and then hit him, and that was it. Yeah. Uh, wh wh where do you think, uh, how do you see Tank Ryan? Uh, that's a fight that supposedly he's already made, and uh, how do you see that fight going? Well, Tank wants it, Ryan wants it. It's a major fight. I'm telling everybody it's going to break pay per view records. Pay per view record is someone close, somewhere around 4, 7, 4, 700,000. It's going to do more than that. It's going to be that Re big. Really? So you think this is bigger than Pacquiao Mayweather? I think so, yeah. Their reach on social media is way bigger than Pacquiao Mayweather. Pacquiao Mayweather took years to build and they had their fan base. But you have Ryan with social media influencers with 70 million, 50 million, 40 million followers. I'm not saying every follower will buy it, but the exposure will be something different that we've never seen. And Tank, you saw, yeah, every rapper, every NBA player, the amount of reach of the millions and millions into it, the potential for that kind of event, yes. If they promote it right, yes. But what do you make of the recent rise of Dominican boxing? You got, you know, Hector Luis Garcia, Edwin De Los well, Santos. Two words, Bob Santos. <laughs> He's doing a great job and he had a great year. And Listen, Dominicans throughout history, um, Dr. Pedro Diaz coached him and he, he has the most medals in the Olympics from the, the Cuban, Cuban team yeah. Cu and Dominican. He, he, he led Dominicans uh, a lot of medals. Well, he, he coached the, the Dominican Republic. I did not know Yeah, that. and he did very well. So they've always had a boxing country, very talented fighters. In the pros, it's hard. You need luck, you need timing, you need the right promoter. Um, and now they're doing it. This is their era. And, and Hector has nothing to be ashamed of because he came, he fought Javante Davis, and it was a great fight. It was eight rounds, you know? And How, how did you have the fight scored up until the up until the I don't really score round by round because I'm too detailed into it. Yeah. But it was a good fight. I mean, people around me in the media, some had tank up, some had uh, Hector up, some had a draw. Because it was round eight, so it was four and four. But listen, no one knew what to expect. And everybody downplayed the fight. But here's what I have to say. Sold out. It's number one trending on Twitter. And um, I'm excited. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Shout out to everyone in the Dominican Republic. Ellie Secback reporting. All right, guys. Thank you so much.